Mr. President, in conflict resolution, dialogue is a tool that is surely to be encouraged. We truly believe that everyone involved in human rights activities would be happy to see a resolution which is found in dialogue. Conflicts do have a core and other ancillary issues can coexist like a halo around the light source. Without resolving the core issue, a solution is imperfect. In the East Asia, uh, East South Asia region, which India calls her Northeast, there are a number of conflicts that remain unresolved. We see ambiguity is the main ingredient in the attempts to resolve this. Consequently, people in the region are getting restive, and the state is using various draconian measures to suppress them, which is not conducive to peace and harmony. A borrow nationalist organization of Assam in a ceasefire agreement with the Indian government has just been given an ultimatum to accept a solution within the Indian constitution, failing which military operations against it is likely to be put back in place. The situation, sadly, is not unique. Either explicitly or implicitly, such threats hang over, over all the organizations pursuing a nationalist goal based on their history, geography, cultural identities, and collective rights. The respective civil societies have tried to overcome such intransigent position by the Indian government of India. In Assam, a people consultative group, bracketed PCG, was formed on 8th of September 2005 to facilitate a just solution for Assam. The PCG has had three rounds of discussion with the Indian government to no avail. It needs to be borne in mind uh, that the members of the PCG undertook the mission with the potential of falling foul of prevailing draconian laws, namely Armed Forces Special Powers Act and the National Security Act. This, uh, the case of Lassit Bordley, a member of the PCG who was taken into custody under the NSA on the 8th of February 2008 proves the point. An analysis of the efforts of the PCG immediately reveals that India doesn't understand or wish to understand a notion of reasonableness. The PCG tried to persuade the government of India to agree to discuss the sovereignty of Assam with the view of ending the insurgency there, re resulting in a political solution. We do not see any indication of India agreeing to such a democratic solution. From the utterances of consecutive military chief in the region in recent years, a military solution remains the aim to prevail over the collective will of the agreed population of this region. To protect the current, uh, to protect the errant personnel in their endeavor, there is the APSPA 1958, derived from the Armed Forces Special Power Ordinance of 15th of August 1942, enacted by the Colonial British Indian Administration to cross movements of independence in India. It must be said, such an approach by India fails to carry the ideals of justice and human rights as we understand how it should be. We urge this Council to take proactive measures and encourage meaningful dialogue process under the auspices to resolve the self determination issues prevailing the reason politically as a matter of urgency. Thank you. I thank you for your